We lost my brother to a, a very difficult and prolonged cancer journey. We were only 18 months apart and kind of almost grew up as twins, grew up mm -hmm. in the 80s. It was a great era. And it was heartbreaking watching the cancer journey and the treatment. He has a young, a young wife oh, and, and children. Yes. Mm. So we, I lost my brother and then I lost both of my paternal grandparents within like three months and went through major life transition. So it was like it all happened at once. Yeah, and we hear yeah. that. And honestly, I've preached about it. But then when it happens to you right. and you're right. trying to apply your, yeah. your own preaching, yeah. this is very difficult. This is very hard. And I fell into a dark hole. You did. And I wow. wasn't sure how to get out. And I think a lot of people feel that way when storms hit, perfect storms hit. And pain comes, you know, in a cluster. It brings friends along. Yeah. Friends like loneliness. Mm. And mm. you're like, some of the people that I thought would be there for me weren't there in the ways that I had anticipated or expected. And you have to navigate through that. I'll say this. If our Christian worldview, if our perspective of God doesn't set a seat at the table for the challenges of life, it's a very brittle belief system. And it, it holds up when the sun is shining. Yes. But when you go through loss and grief and the unexpected, it's gotta be more grit. Absolutely. In our, in our understanding yes. of how hope is at work. Yes. And that's what good catastrophe is presenting. Not only should we tolerate pain, and not avoid it, but recognize God uses adversity. Amen. He doesn't create it, but mm. He uses it as one of the great tools of crafting our human experience. Mm. And I think that's the beauty wow. that comes out of it. Mm.